Looking for a competitive edge? I am. Need to improve your business? I do. Try Acronym Soup. It's full of TLA. Whatever your business needs, Acronym Soup will fill the void. Dig into some ERP. Tasty. And I feel my enterprise productivity surging. Try some CRM. Mmm. My sales are skyrocketing. Or maybe some MES. My manufacturing operations have never been more in control. And our newest flavor, PLM. Mmm. That's the best. And I feel so innovative. Nine out of ten consultants recommend a healthy diet of three letter acronyms. It's good for my business and it tastes so great. Yummy. Also available in delicious SLM, PDF, and XML flavors, loaded with productivity. Improving business takes more than ingesting a three letter acronym. Watch PLM 411 to find out how to use PLM software to solve real business problems. Hi, and welcome to PLM 411. I'm Jim Brown with Tech Clarity. Today I'm joined by Gavin Davidson from NetSuite. Um, we've talked a lot about PLM in this series, and uh, we're gonna switch a little bit today and talk about PLM and ERP. And the reason is, they're really the two major forces, the ma two major systems that help companies run their businesses. So, um, fantastic to have uh, Gavin here to um, help fill in a lot of the, uh, the ERP side, but also how they work together. So, welcome. Thank you. Um, I, I've got a, a sort of a framework that I use when I talk about ERP and PLM, um, one man's opinion, I guess. And uh, what I talk about is PLM is about product innovation and, and maybe product innovation and product development. And then ERP is about execution or managing the managing the ma uh, business of manufacturing. Sure. Uh, maybe a little oversimplified, but you know, I, I think that's sort of a starting place that people can uh, relate to. But how do you explain the relationship between PLM and ERP? Sure, I think the thing that that's that's true, and uh, you definitely start the innovation process, design process, and PLM and ERP is about execution. But there's a lot of blurred lines now, so we can send information back to PLM that's useful mm -hmm. for future design iterations. Um, maybe from production information even down to machine integration and Internet of Things and that mm -hmm. sort of stuff. Um, and so that could be used in future, future designs as well. So the, the lines are certainly, are certainly being blurred somewhat yeah. by the technology. Yeah, and I mean, when you think about the integration and how they work together, you know, things have changed a lot. You know, and obviously newer design technology or newer, newer technologies in the cloud have made things a lot easier. But um, you know, we saw in, in the old days it was uh, you know maybe release to manufacturing was you know that, and maybe engineering change. But release to manufacturing, a lot of times people would develop a, you know a product and a bill of material mm -hmm. in in PLM and sure. then move it over. Unfortunately, sometimes in you know spreadsheets and chaos ensues at that point, but um, just sort of that one-way push into into ERP, and then it sort of goes away and goes down its path, and, and they're separate again, but you're seeing things a little differently. Yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, the engineers, a lot of times, they, they want to stay in that PLM envir environment. A lot of engineers don't really care about the ERP side of things, and they shouldn't. They should care about designing products. So the two-way integration just helps us feed the information back to them that they're they're interested in consuming, but they're not interested in how it actually how it actually works. Right. So they get to consume the information and use the information to make better designs and innovate better products um, without having to even log into the ERP system if they if they don't want to. Yeah, and so something like an impact analysis on a change order, you know, there's so much information of costs and inventory and in, uh, in an ERP yeah. that really need to drive better decisions, uh, you know, on the product side. Um, and, and now getting access to that. Sure, and and uh, and what the other thing with the cloud is the, the location of that of where something is being made or manufactured is relevant any, anymore. Yeah, it can be worldwide. It can be in your back back door. It can be in China. Right, and you have the same access to information too. Yeah, well, it's exciting and uh, certainly certainly great to see uh, European PLM uh, partnering up. So, Gavin, yeah, thanks for joining me. Thank you. And thank you all for joining us as well. Um, if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up, and we'd love for you to subscribe.